What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and as you can see I have a brand new logo and that design is available over there on Spring. Don't forget to use this code over here for 10% off. Now with that being said, let's get to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to draw the face at a front view. So let's get started. So when I'm drawing any kind of face on any kind of character, the first thing I'm going to need is a circle. So I'm going to start by drawing a circle on my Canton mixed media paper. And obviously mine isn't perfect, but you don't have to go for a perfect circle when you're doing this. Just a good enough circle, a well-rounded, well-rounded circle. Okay, and then I'm just going to make a line that goes straight down the circle. This is going to be my line of symmetry. So everything on both sides of this line will be the same. So the circle, the face shape, and all other facial features will be the same on both sides of this line. So I'm going to darken this line of symmetry so you guys can see it better. Okay, and now I'm going to begin to draw the face shape. And now I'm just going to draw a line about three quarters of the way to the bottom of this circle. And I'm going to make it horizontal. And on each side of this line is where the ears are going to lie. But we're also going to use this line to draw the face shape. So I'm going to come off of this line that connects to the circle and begin to make the face shape. That's almost identical to this contour of the circle. But it's going to come off of this point here. So I'm just going to draw that. And then make it symmetrical on the other side. Like that. And now like I said on each of these two points is where the ears are going to lie. So let's draw in the ears. And the ears are really self explanatory. So it's just like two letter C's and ear holes. I have a specific style of drawing ears. It may be identical to some other styles, but this is the way that I like to do it. Alright, and now let's come to the bottom of the face and draw the neck. So when I draw the neck, I like to have it looking like a tube shape at the bottom of the face. So the way I drew it looks like a Mario pipe, but I say tube because it's pretty much the same thing. And then at the bottom of these two lines, I like to have like a little curve connecting them because you know that's what the neck kind of looks like when you think about it. Or the collar actually, when your character is wearing a shirt, the collar will look similar to this shape. But I'm going to change this shape later on because I'm drawing one of my original characters. And I'll show you more of what that looks like later on in the video. But since we got that shape in, I'm going to go up on this line a little bit and draw sort of a sloping line like this. And that's going to be the shoulders. Like that. Okay, and now let's begin to draw the facial features. The eyes, nose, mouth, and eyebrows. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make a curved line connecting these two ears. Not this one that's on the circle. I'm going to make one that's kind of in between this straight line and this curved line. Because when I make this one, this is where the eyes are going to lie on. Something like this. Now it looks something like a fanny pack or a closed mouth. And that's what I'm going for. So, I have a specific way for drawing eyes, and I'm going to show you what that is. So, the way I like to draw eyes is they're primarily shaped like the top bun of a hamburger. When I draw my eyes, I like to have it in the middle of this contour line of the face and the line of symmetry. So, it's going to be in the middle of that. So, just a big top bun shape. Like that. And as usual, it's going to be symmetrical, so it's going to be the exact same on the other side. And then right here where our line of symmetry and this curved line that we just drew intersect is right here. That's where the nose is going to start. So I'm going to draw in the nose with just two lines. And then two letter C shapes coming off of those lines. 
and then a letter U shape that doesn't exactly connect these two lines, but works as, um, I don't know this part of the nose, but enough to make it look like a nose, pretty much. Now, hopefully you guys can see that, but I'm gonna darken it. So you guys can see a good amount of that. But now that that's drawn, we can go ahead and draw the mouth. And when I draw a closed mouth, I like to have it just being one small pencil stroke like this. Kind of matching one of these curved lines up here. Because, you know, I did say it looks something like a closed mouth. So it can just be curved, but the expression doesn't matter. But we're just drawing any kind of mouth for now. And then I like to have a smaller version of this mouth just right below it. And that's going to pose as the chin. Okay, and now let's go ahead and draw in the parts of the eyes. The part of the eye where there's color is called the iris. So I'm going to draw in that. It's going to be a big circle inside of this uh, eye shape. And then the black dot inside the eye, that's called the pupil. So I'm just going to draw that in as well. I'm going to color that in so that way I know it's black. There we go. And now let's come up top and draw the eyebrows. So the eyebrows, I kind of like to match the shape of the eyes themselves. Because the eye shape, like I said, it was a hamburger bun kind of shape. But there's also an arc. Like right around this area. So I like to make the eyebrows match that shape. But they're going to be just above the eyes so that way they won't kind of clash. And then I like to have the eyebrows being thick, close to the line of symmetry, and then taper at the end so that way it comes to a point as you go across this arc. So as you can see, there's no thickness on this side, but there's a lot of thickness on this side. So it's going to come to a point as it goes away from the face. And then mimic that on the other side to keep it symmetrical. And there we go. Let me darken this real quick. And now we're at the point of the video where we can begin to add hair for this character. But when it comes to a hairstyle, you can do any kind of hairstyle that you want. But if you do want to learn from me how to draw hair, I got several videos on how to do just that. I also have a playlist called Cadillac's Barbershop and Hair Salon, which will pop up right here in the card. And in that playlist, I have videos on how to draw specific hairstyles and how to go about them and other things like that. So again, link to that will pop up in the card and there will also be a link to that in the description. So you have two ways to get there. But for me, since I'm drawing one of my original characters, I'm gonna draw a line across the head and that's gonna be the hat. It's going to be a snapback too. And color that in. And then give them a little shape up on each side. Color that in, make it dark. And there we go. And then I might just fix up the head a little bit. So that way it doesn't look very small but this is but this is the kind of adjustment you can do on your own you don't exactly have to make the same adjustments that I'm making but um, when it comes down to it you can alter any kind of thing that you want I'm not mandating you to do that but you know as an artist you do you Okay, and coming back to the bottom, what I am going to do is change this collar up. And I'm going to make it so my character is wearing a sweater. So, I'm just going to come off of this line of symmetry. Just going to make a curve up and go around the neck. But not all the way. And then coming off of the neck, I can begin to make that same curve. Like this. And, it, and then make another one underneath it. And then do the same thing on the other side of the line of symmetry.
And there we go, that's what our character looks like after drawing the face. So what I am gonna do is give this illustration some inks, give it some color, and then come back to you guys and show you what that looks like. So let's go. All right, and that's how you draw the face at a front view. So if you liked the video or if you found it useful, give it a like and a comment. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of drawing tutorials, speed drawings, art challenges, and more. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my spring listing with my new and improved logo. And use the code on the screen to get 10% off. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I